Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a column chart or a bar chart if you like to call it. Basically a vertical bars where we have side by side for each period we'll have three bars. For period one for example we'll have a bar for service cost, a bar next to it for time units and a bar right next to it for the number of calls. And same thing for each period. So we'll end up with 10 clusters going along the, the horizontal axis of three bars in each cluster. Okay, so something like this. Okay, well, let's just do it. So we go to insert, we'll go to column, and we can choose the first 2D clustered column. Okay, so this is pretty much the standard column chart that you can make just simple column charts out of. But if we want to make clustered, it also gives us that flexibility. Okay, so we start with a blank slate. Let's go to select data. Let's add a series. So we click add series. And the first series we're going to call, let's say, service costs. Let's start with service costs. And let's highlight service costs. Okay, so we got the name and all the quantities. And already it's compiling hit OK. That itself would be uh, a column chart, right? But we want to make it clustered. Let's add another series. This time let's add time units. We could take the name by just clicking on it and then take the values. And you see it's compiling it next to the bar for service cost. And also, it's compiling a legend so we can, so the observer can understand which one, what each one of those bars is. Finally, let's add number of calls. Let's click on it for the name, and then click on its values, and that's been compiled. Okay. And finally, the horizontal axis over here. We'll just highlight the periods, and hit OK, and we're good to go. Now. You might want to go to layout, add a title. So we can just call this the clustered sales information. And our legend was automatically compiled based on our individual series. And from here, I mean, it's just a uh, you know cosmetic aesthetic kind of preference that you may have to want to change any of this stuff. And there's a lot of cool ones to choose from. So you could have fun with that. So it's not that hard to make these cluster charts. And you could add a trend lines. You can uh, modify your axes to get rid of certain uh, formatting. But overall, this, is, this was our goal. And we were able to achieve it in under two minutes flat. So. I hope this was helpful. I've also made a lot of other uh, videos on creating charts, more introductory and a little bit more advanced. So be sure to check those out. And I got tons of other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Statistics, Math, and other computer trick tutorial videos on my channel, Jalayer Academy, on YouTube. Please, while you're there, subscribe comment for the videos and also click on our sponsors ads that pop up next to these videos that's what keeps these tutorials coming to you for free i appreciate it have a great day